YouTube, man, what's good with y'all? It's your boy, none of the soul, none of the chosen one, none of the glow. <laughs> man, I'm back with another video. Guys, what's good with y'all, man? Everybody, right? Comment down below, Nodi Gang, right? If you got this notification, Nodi Gang in the comment section. Bro, I'm so hyped to talk about this topic right here because it's been on my mind for a while, bro. The things that I see, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, this is how I, I'm able to bring content. This is how I'm able to come on here and bring certain topics. <clears throat> and obviously, shout out to you guys because some of y'all hit me up and tell me, nah, nah, oh, make this video, make that video, right? Give me ideas, you know, I appreciate you guys. But I want to talk about how these modern times, we need semen retention, fellas. We need discipline. We need to be able to control ourselves as much as possible. Our world is so over-sexualized, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro, wherever you go, you are going to find lust. Wherever you go, you're going to see it, right? You're going you're gonna to hear it. It's just all over us. So if you can't control yourself as a man, it's going to be very tough for you to live a, a, a better lifestyle. It's going to be very tough for you to, you know, just... I don't know how to explain it. Just be yourself, be a man. It's gonna to be tough for, for you to do that. It's gonna be hard for you to achieve success, right? Because most men who have made it to the top, right? Great men, they were able to self-discipline. They were able to self-control. They were able to take, to take control of their lust. And if you can't do that, guys, you will lose. I'm not saying this is the end all be all, but the world we are living in now, we need semen retention. We need Jesus Christ too, of course, but we also need semen retention. It goes hand in hand, right? Accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is number one, but we also need to understand that self-discipline is very powerful. It's key for you as a man right now, okay? Everywhere you go, there's a lot of like, you know, um, there's, a, you know, I'm not, disclaimer, I'm not here to bash women. I love women, right? But I, I'm just gonna state the facts. Right, there's a lot of women who have this mentality of, oh, I don't need a man. Oh, oh, a man is this, right? You guys know how these modern women be, right? You guys know this. And if you are a man, you're you're sitting back like, what do you mean by this? Right? I was watching another content creator. Shout out, you know, I don't remember his name. Um, dang it. Shout out to you though, right? You he he made it. You know, I'm I'm gonna tell you what video he made. He made a video talking about how. P stars, right? The industry stars, you know, how they don't feel like them, their best selves. And how, you know, he was, he was reacting to a video of, I think this one of these P stars, you know, breaking down, talking about how her family don't accept her. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm like, bro, right? <laughs> are you surprised? Right? Why, why are you surprised that your family don't accept you? I, you know, I'm not here to bash, but it's just the truth. What you doing, of course your family, but if I was your family member, I probably won't, you know, uh, uh, what is it called? I probably won't be, want to be seen with you, right? I was reacting to that video and, and you know, the, the P star was talking about her, her family abandoned her because of what she does in the industry. And I'm like, why are you surprised? You are, you know, sitting there having intercourse with multiple people that you don't even know, but you're just getting a bag from it. You're getting money from it, okay? it's wrong of course but i'm sorry bro if i was her family member i would have done the same thing right her dad was like he can't be seen right she told her dad they should go out and go you know get coffee or whatever and the dad told her told his daughter bro this is it's so embarrassing he told his daughter that he cannot be seen with her in public i'm like oh my gosh this is what it's got to bro right that, those are modern women who, who think they can show off their body on OnlyFans, uh, P-Hub, right? Wherever. And make money from it and, 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 and feel like men are supposed to accept them. When it comes to a righteous man like myself, right? If you are on this journey, we don't accept women like that. We just do not, right? And I'm glad I don't because they will ruin your life, bro. They will truly, truly ruin your life. They can ruin right? What you have built, your kingdom as a man, they can ruin that, guys. We are living in some crazy times, bro. We need SR, fellas. We need this, man, to be able to discern these women who come out and think that just because they're making good money that we're supposed to accept them. If you're doing OnlyFans and P-Hub, 
I'm sorry. You're not going to get a good man. And she's, she's talking about, she was in the, in the video when I was reacting to it. She was talking about how she can't get a man to uh, settle down with, right? She goes in public and she feels awkward. Like, that makes no sense. Why would it be any different? Look at what you are doing, right? In, in the Bible, it tells us that we will know these people by their fruits. And what type of fruits is that P-Hub star bearing? It's bad fruit, okay? It's bad fruit. You're going to know it because look at what she does you know, to make money, you know, it's just sad, bro. Right. I didn't, you know, I don't feel bad for them. I really do not feel bad when people say they, they can't accept them when their family is abandoning them. Like, you know, if I was your family member too, I probably would do the same thing because that is completely embarrassing. Especially if, you know, your parents, right? Like, like man, it'll be so awkward, bro. You would have to, you can't even probably even look your parents in the face no more because of what you do guys, man. Get on this journey, bro. This is the best thing you can do for yourself, bro. As a man, you need to go celibate. For y'all women, go celibate too, okay? Don't be like these OnlyFans models trying to make a bag, right? There ain't nothing wrong with, you know, living a, 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 a job lifestyle and building yourself up to be great and be successful. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But people just want to make the bag quick. They want to make money quick, 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 quick. And they go do things like this. You basically selling your soul, right? You basically doing something you don't want to do, but just because you making money from it, you are excited, right? Man, that's bad, bro. Money's the, money's the, money's the root to all evil. That's a fact, right? People will do some strange things for some change. <laughs> that's a fact, bro. That didn't even change. They making big bucks in the industry, but those big bucks is coming straight from Satan himself, right? So guys. You know, those are all abominations to Christ, right? Those, those things, you know, you shouldn't be partaking in. Seeing our attention is one of the ways you can become righteous as a man. I, notice how I said one of the ways, right? Understand that self-discipline is, is very powerful for you in the times we are living in. There's a lot of women around who showing off they, they body, right? They don't respect the more, you know, the, the, they don't respect the Bible. They don't respect God. If they really did, they won't be showing off all these parts, Right? You know, even it says it in scriptures, women are supposed to show that to their husband alone, but they here showing it to everybody on, on OnlyFans, P-Hub, and I'm like, yo, women don't even want to be wives no more, bro. It, it, you know, it, it, it's sad, bro, but I'm telling you guys, it really only happens here in America. I'm, I, I'm telling you guys, when foreign women, women who are foreign, I don't see this type of behavior in them as much. Only when they come into this Western society, they become doctrined, right, indoctrinated, right, with this mentality of, oh, I don't need a man. I'm an independent woman. Like, man, all that stuff is just crazy to me, bro. Right? I'm not bashing nobody. I'm not bashing no woman, you know, on their grind, whatever, or man on their grind. I'm just stating the straight, complete facts, right? Men need women and women need men. It's vice versa. Nobody doesn't need nobody, right? That's not how God made it to work. That doesn't make sense. Guys, think for a minute, bro. Use your logic. If you a man, you know what I'm talking about because you got logic. You think logically. Women don't really understand it like that that much, but some women obviously will get it because, you know, there have been around a lot of guys who understand that this is the truth, right? This is the main truth. It's just, it's bigger than... Oh, I don't want a man. Like, you know, a man can do things that you probably couldn't as a woman. And a woman can do things that you can do as a man in the household. So, you know, when, when they say such things, it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, what are you talking about? Guys, you see what I'm saying here? We both need each other. So retention brings us back to this state. Retention, retention brings us back to understanding that we need each other. We need both, you know, men and women. We need it. We really, really do, bro. You know, this is why I'm going to continue to preach. I'm going to continue to make this content because, man, this is the real deal, bro. This is the real deal. I'm still going strong on my journey, right? Almost to two weeks. Guys, see my retention, no fap. Just stop choking your chicken, right? <laughs> stop choking your chicken. Stop choking your chicken. Stop sleeping around with these chicks, right? Who don't even love you? They don't love you. They don't, they don't want you. But you sleeping with them just because you're trying to get a, you know, a nut off. Guys, no. Keep this energy to yourself. I'm telling you, bro. Let me give y'all a quick story real quick, man. 
I seen a couple people, right? I be doing this weekend gig where, you know, I'm like catering and stuff like that. So it was a big event. They were having a, a wedding. I was with my cousin, right? We go, we both go together. They were having a catering event. And I seen these people from high school that I used to go to high school with, right? At that event, two women, right? And, and there was this other guy. I didn't know the guy, right? I passed, you know, I went to the bathroom, right? And I seen two women and a guy standing there were talking. I passed them, right? I went to the bathroom, cool. I'm coming out. I passed them again. But guess what? I heard them call my name. They were like, is that Nana? And I turned around because I, bro, I'm very, like, I have sharp senses, right? When you retain, you know how it be. I heard it. And I'm like, and I was like, and then they, they were like, you don't remember us? And I'm like, nah, I really don't. And I was like, low key scratching my head because I didn't. And then they said their names. I'm not going to disclose that, obviously. They said their names. I'm like, oh, what's good, right? And then we, you know, she was, she, the, the females were like, you you look good now. I'm like, oh, hold on. <laughs> they talking about you look good now, bro. I, I done leveled up because at first, bro, I wasn't working on myself, dog. I wasn't hitting the gym. I wasn't, you know, taking care of my skin, right? I wasn't doing such, these small, small, you know, these things that you got to do as a man, of course. I wasn't doing such things, man. I was just, just living to be honest bro i was just living bro i was just, just doing me but now you know when, when she seen me she was like you look good now i'm like appreciate it appreciate it right dab each other up right yeah i dabbed her up i was like hey cool and i, I kept it pushing i was at work bro. i'm working i'm working i'm getting this cheese i'm getting this money <laughs> i love you guys bro that's why i bring you out this content man if you like this content like comment share and subscribe man it's just one-on-one -on -one. it's like i'm talking to you on a call bro understand this dog this is gonna help you level up this going to help you get that woman you want, man. I, I don't even got to try anymore. Right? When I was serving these two women, right? Good looking women, of course. They, I was serving them. They, they look good. I'm like, yo, you feel me? These are, they, they dress nice, right? It's a wedding. So they, they, everybody's dressed nice. I'm dressed nice. My cousin dressed nice. We we just catering, right? We, we giving food out and stuff like that. And, you know, I was serving, we were serving these, um, what's it called? Spring rolls, right? And the women were like, I don't know if they were trying to flirt or whatever. They, but they kept asking us about the food. Right, they were trying to throw certain gestures. They were like, you know, you know, you guys know certain things women do. They're like cats. I told y'all, bro. They try to throw shots here and here, right, for you to pick it up. Right, they were throwing shots. They're like, is it good? Right, uh, have you tried it? Like, you know, they were just taught all this. Like, I'm like, okay, I see what's going on here. They don't want us to leave. They want us to talk with them more. So they keep asking us questions, right? But you know, certain things that I've noticed on this retention journey that doesn't happen when you are busting nuts. It's just a fact. Right. Women don't do so, women don't really, you know, want to even talk to you when you on the hub, bro. When you watching the hub, obviously they don't know you're watching the hub. But I mean, when you are constantly draining your energy, women can notice that and they don't want to even talk to you. They don't want to associate themselves with you because you got no energy. You are depleted, bro. All right. This is probably the best thing to do for y'all fellas. Get on seamer attention. OK, get on no fat. I've been doing this for a while now, guys. And you guys know Hold on, I dropped something. I've been doing this for a while. You guys know how I be, right? How I be with this with this journey, bro. I'm, I be serious, dog. I be serious about this journey. I be talking about it every day because, bro, it's the best thing for us right now, man. It, it, it's so it because it, it gets tough. It gets tough out here. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. It gets so tough, bro. Right? But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Have you been noticing subtle things happening? Right? Just certain certain, certain blessings popping up in your lives. Right? Put it in the comments, man. This journey is a blessing. I think uh, somebody hit me up, right? I got to check their messages. Talking about how they're getting blessed on this journey, bro. It's not placebo, right? You can keep saying placebo all you want, and you can keep living that life of willful sin, right? You can, you you know, you could do you. We're going to do us, bro. We're going to stay on this journey and, you know, and, and, and make our father in heaven proud. But you can, you can do what you want. I'm going to just give y'all the advice at the end of the day. I love y'all, right? We need this semen retention journey in these times, guys. Right. Let me know what you think. In the comment section is this. Is this you know? Is this something you approve of, guys? Is this? Am I speaking facts? Okay. We need this. Do you know? Do you want to be drained for the rest of your life? Do you really, really want to walk around like a zombie for the rest of your life, man? Drained, completely out of life, man. It's not fun, bro. I've been there. I've been there, guys. There's no thrill, right? When you're retaining, there's like a thrill to it, right? Every day is a new day, and you're just so happy to live it because God has blessed you with a new day. Let me get it. Amen. I love you guys, man. More videos to come this week. Let's get it, man. Retain. Retain. We got that glow. Hey, yeah, we got that see. By the way, it's on Spotify. Make sure y'all go stream it. Make sure y'all go listen to it at the gym, right? People ask you, who, 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 who that?
right? Tell them it's your boy, Nah 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 Swole. <laughs> Let's go. I love y'all, man, and I'm out.